All right, this one's gonna be on an improvement to W3M's text-to-speech that we just set up last time. Um, last time we did this, I really didn't like the way I did it because there was no way to pause or stop properly. Um, but now that we have like this Empress um, that we can control, you know, certain players even in the background with hotkeys or scripts. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing here. Uh, a little improvement to our text-to-speech here, right? So we'll bust out some page here, so we can do, you know, uh, some examples here. Do the heck are these? Where do I want to? There we go. Bust out a few page. And in the past, when we try to do like, um, what was that? Let's say, for example, this uh, page here, right? Uh, we do like a text to speech. Um, there was no way to pause, you know, the action. Let's say if I want to take a break, I want to pause it. Um, there was no way to do that really. So let's say, for example, I play this one here, right? I do leader A to play the article. CNN 12, the 5th, 2023. Cincinnati Bengals win over nine thriller against Jacksonville Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence leaves game with ankle injury. By Ben Morris, CNN, updated five eight eight. So I can do backslash seven here to pause it, and you can see if I do backslash seven again, it will uh, play it again. And Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, December fifth, two thousand twenty-three. Source, CNN. The Cincinnati Bengals stunned the Jacksonville Jaguars in an overtime. So you see, I can pause it, right? Um, you know, really easy. Uh, you can do this from a script too, like I said. Uh, we use our FCF Nova here. We'll do CTL. And I can go to MPV. And I can do, um, you know, pause. Thriller, 34 play. to 31 on Monday, while Jack's star quarterback Trevor Lawrence limped off with an ankle injury. So, you know, the, that's what we can do. Control it using hotkeys to. Um, we actually do seek too if you want. So let's say, for example, um, where's the one? Um, player ETL. So these are our hotkeys binding here, and I recommend this over like function keys. I tried it with function keys, and it does work, but it doesn't work in the TTY, and I want it to work in both, just in case you know if you want to use this in like straight up TTY, you can actually uh, control it uh, using these here. So we're using backslash and then like the number. And, um, you know, they have stuff in here. The only thing that you really need to be concerned about when you're doing, um, uh, what was that, the, you know, text to speech here is just basically stop, right? Um, play pause. And you can actually go back. Let's say if you missed uh, what they said, you can go back like five seconds here, right? Or you can go forward uh, if you want to skip some stuff. So that's pretty much uh, the hockey bindings. Um, as far as the, what was the other one that we did? As far as this um, text to speech, uh, we're using Xbox Pico. It sounds the best. Uh, I mean, you can use eSpeak NG if you like, but that thing sounds very robotic. So we can do like uh, the current word. So um, backslash S is for you know the the current word that you're on, your cursor's on, and then backslash A is your article, like the whole thing. And we can actually combine it with um, RDR view, which is like a way to strip out, um, what was it, the page content, you know, get rid of all the junk, and then we just have a, a clean page. So this one's for the current link, so let's say whatever link you're on, you wanna do that on, then uh, you can do that. or more specifically you want to use like the current page here which is backslash capital T the other one is just lowercase t and so we'll demonstrate some of these here right so if I'm on like a certain word and I want it to say it to me I'll do let's say um, this uh, word here impressed so I do backslash s here impressed right it's just one uh, you know single word if I wanted to clean a page, let's say for example, like Hacker News, they always have like junky page in here. Uh, which one we got? 
let's say for example this one here what is this yeah you see how like in the top here it has like all these um, header junk right and we only want to read like this portion right here so to do that we can do um, what is it the backslash capital T New theory unites Einstein's gravity with quantum mechanics. The image depicts an experiment in which heavy particles, illustrated as the moon, cause an interference pattern, a quantum effect, while also bending spacetime. The hanging pendulums depict the measurement of spacetime. The actual experiment is typically performed using carbon-60, one of the largest known molecules. All right, so you can see we can stop it and all that, but at least you know the the page looks cleaner, and that's why um, it will start reading you know whatever um, RDR view gets rid of, right? And you just have like the the main content as, as opposed to the original page, which is look at this, all these other crap here, right? Um, so that's basically what that does, and you can do this like um, links to. So let's say for example we on a link and we want to just do that automatically, we do. Uh, what is that? Backslash it's lowercase t. Did it work? Left square there bracket you go. snowflakes 12 underscore out right square bracket. The following is part of our 25 hyphen day holiday countdown calendar. Every day from December 1st through the 25th. We so there you go. We can, um, <clears throat> you know, play pause with our high key. You're posting a cool game history tree, daily updates through the 20-day holiday cut bracket. The following is part of our 25-day holiday countdown calendar. The following air bracket snowflakes 12 underscore outright square bracket. The following is part of our 25 So you see, I can, uh, you know, seek backwards uh, a couple of seconds if I needed to. And... Uh, you know, like I said, multiple ways we can control this, even with uh, hotkeys and stuff like that, and even scripts. So I do CTL, PV, and I'll say stop. Actually, we'll play it first, and then I'll show you a stop. Day holiday countdown calendar. Every day from December 1st through the 25th, we're posting a cool game history. So you see, there you go. We can control it multiple ways, hotkeys, um, scripts, and... Um, I like it much better than we did last time, and the only difference is that uh, our um, what is that, our code here is basically we're not like we're actually uh, creating a WAV file. Um, it will generate a WAV file in your temp folder, and then you know it'll, it'll read it with uh, MPV in the background, and then from there, since we have MPV, uh, we'll use Empress to control it. Uh, using player CTL and that's why we can actually bind to a hockey or you know doing it from a script and stuff like that anyways that's uh, the improvements to the code uh, and like I said I like using uh, SVox Pico here for our text-to-speech it sounds way better than any of the other stuff that you've heard of like eSpeak festival was that festival or some other crap that they have for uh, text-to-speech on um, you know Linux here Anyways, text to speech uh, with W3M, like an improvement. Um, check it out. Here's the improvement code. I'll put you the other ones too, like eSpeak, if you really want to use eSpeak NG here. But it doesn't sound like great, right? Anywho, that's a W3M read aloud feature, if you didn't know.